Hello and welcome to the 2021 KRR Awards, the Moonies. First of all, I would like to thank all the players who participated on our survey. It was posted on the Facebook group, Kartrider Rush Mobile. Unfortunately, this award is solely focused on item. I tried my best to compress the awards, because I was thinking of adding categories like best costume, aura, characters, and other aesthetics, but I thought that it might make the survey a little bit longer. I also got some messages, asking me, on why I did not include some items. For example, the Fairy Guardian. I didn't put the Fairy Guardian because not a lot of players got to use or experience the pet. Because the pet was only obtainable through the recharge event. Thank you to all who answered the survey. I appreciate everyone who participated. I might make might make a separate award show focusing on speed. I'm not a speed player. I mainly focus on items. Okay, let's start. The first category is best season. Best season for events and promotion. And with 66% of the responses, the Mooney goes to season 8. By far the best season pass yet. I availed that season pass and it's quite worth it. I got Purilla and also that epic pet, and Guardian. Our runner up with 14% of all the results. Is season 10 Norse. This season was quite poor. Every season pass is worth it but the content of this season pass is not that good except for the 600 bats and we did have a lot of events during season 8 also season 10 landed on the end of the year. So it was the end of the year season. Okay and on keeping up with the season category. The next category is best season in terms of theme now this is the aesthetic part of the award. With 58% of the total votes or responses, the winner is Season 9 Fairy Origins. I also voted for this I think in terms of aesthetics Season 9 really got it was so enchanting. It's sort of magical. Reminds me of Lothlorien from Lord of the Rings. I don't know if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings, but I think it captured that fairy or elvish vibe of this season. The runner-up for best season in terms of theme, is a tie with 12% of the survey result. Season 8 and Season 10. Next category is Best Pet. With 36% of votes the Mooney goes to. Dalgum. No surprise here, Dalgum from the Jisoo event was popular amongst players and was availed by a lot of players. Even at the Korean server this pet is a go-to, for ranked matches. The runner-up. With 20% of the total survey response or votes is Heavenly Fairy. Heavenly Fairy still is the best pet to purchase as an F2P because it just makes every other card playable. Its abilities are absolutely good for starting players. So if you're a beginner item player, Heavenly Fairy is the best pet for you. Next category is best item cart, paid. With 44% total votes. The Mooney goes to Shadow Dragster or Shadow Dragon. I bought this car on the on the first day it was released and I've been waiting for it for months. Best attacking cart for now. This cart has the ability to reload its dragon missile and to me that alone makes this a good cart not to mention its other abilities. The simple truth is, this cart is for attacking and it wants to attack. Okay. And then moving on the next cart got 28% of the survey results and that cart is Parola. And it comes to no surprise again. This cart has the ability to launch golden flies. Its teleport item will put you behind third place. It has that catch up, mechanic. It's just really good. Next category is, best collaboration. And the winner for this category got 44% of the total votes or survey results. And the Mooney goes to Jisoo. This is the event where a lot of new KRR players played. Jisoo's popularity really promoted KRR. Not to mention the sought after pet, Dalgum. The item card though is a letdown. I guess Jisoo may have designed a great pet, but not a great card. Add the runner-up for this category, with 18% of the votes. It is a tie again. 
Line Friends and Jin Ramen. Not as many events like what we got in the Jisoo collab, but this collab is popular because of its free items. And speaking of free, the next category will be best free item cards. And the Mooney goes to Jin Ramen. 32% of players voted for this card. Personally, I think Kony Kart is the best F2P card, but this the player's choice for best free item card. Okay, and 26% of the vote goes to Sweeper. The card that won the last item master tournament, still gets some love. Appeared in season 6, this is the most thematic card I have ever encountered. Now, for best item card, on the souvenir shop. With 90% of the results. You've guessed it. The Mooney goes to Pharaoh, or Royal Chariot. An absolute degenerate type of cart when it first came out. 400 L badges is worth spending if you are gonna get this cart. Its dominance in both item solo and team lives up to its reputation. The runner up for this category is quite surprising. I was expecting Galaxy or Luna Salvation to be the next best, but the results got Twilight Unicorn with 6% of the results. Okay. And then finally the last category for our KRR awards. Is best item, epic, this is this is the category that is most interesting because the results were quite diverse. The Mooney for best item epic item card goes to Guardian, with 22% of the votes. A fun epic card in terms of its defensive capability, can almost keep up with runners like, Seth and Cherub Cruiser. Runner-up carts in this category is, Kony Cart and Mithril Leaf. Both carts received 18% of the votes. Finally, some love for my fave item cart, Kony. And that is all for the 2021 KRR Awards The Moonies. Thank you again for all those who participated in our survey.